I want to turn this power tool <laughs> into a mini bike. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of work with highs. I just love it when a plan comes together. And lows. It's the look of the feet. I'm not sure if I can build this mini bike. But one thing is certain. Ooh. It's gonna be a fun journey. Oh. <laughs> well, we might get hurt along the way, but we'll also meet new people. <laughs> yeah. And we'll even make some friends. <laughs> oh, nay! Previously on Jens Maker Adventures. Can I make a vehicle out of this drill driver? I like where this is going. So crazy, we're just assembling a little vehicle here. It is ready enough for a test. Oh, nay! I slipped it over. Hey, see that? Maar die bandjes die zijn ook weer heel slap. Dat is niet helemaal wat we hoopten. Nee. Helaas. Terug naar de tekentafel. Ja. It's the look of the feet. Ja, jammer. Ik heb ook helemaal geen zin meer nu om het allemaal nog wel opnieuw te doen. Ah joh. Klein beginnen, eerst die bandjes oppompen. Oké, okay, so we have a few problems. The gear is slipping, probably because there's quite a long arm between the power tool and then the gear. Another problem is that there's a lot of drag, so the bike is just not starting at all because the tires are just not pressurized. These are basically flat. No wonder it's hard to run this. Ah. Ow! Scrape my finger. Oh, on this pushing rod it hurts. <sighs> oh! F ah! Damn it! This is freaking hot. This part. A lot of luck right now. I don't know how this should have worked in the first place. Come on, look at this. Slipping on and off like that. It's dumb. Well, should buy better products. I'm sorry. I'm being really negative. I'm just. I'm feeling really annoyed with how poorly all of this is going. At least this wheel is pumped way better than it was before. So let's reinstall. Oh, it does feel more sturdy. However, this... <laughs> I gotta say, that doesn't feel all too sturdy. Okay, the second big problem is gear slipping. You can see it working fine under a low load. However, if I grab this wheel, one possible fix would be to have a tie wrap between this part and this part. I'm actually gonna try that. Gaat die weer? We can help you up. Where are you? Oh, there. Hey. Hello. Okay. Round two. Oh, kijk. Oh, it's doing something. <laughs> Kom minder. Ik weet niet wat al dat gekraak was wat ik hoor. Oh, dat is gewoon dit. Oh. Dat is gewoon dit. <laughs> dat hoort zo, is nieuwe dat, uit. Dat hoort zo. <laughs> Doe nog even een stukje dan. Ja. <laughs> ja, dat werkt. Oh, het werkte. Hij slipt dan ook weer. Misschien met meer tie wraps of zo dat het zou gaan, maar. Mm -hmm. Yes! Haha! Hij doet het! Kijk uit! Wow! Ja, alleen dat die enorme man op zo'n kleine minibike is nog wel best hilarisch. <laughs> oh nee! Oh nee! I found myself in a position where my troubles are fourfold. Is it fourfold? Yes, fourfold. 
So the first and biggest issue that I have is that the gears are slipping and this is bad because if I have slipping gears I can move forward and then the whole point of the mini bike is gone. The second issue is that the saddle doesn't fit. The third thing is that the steering wheel is just loose and might come off at any time. And the fourth problem is the gas throttle. I didn't really consider how to mount the gas throttle in the final assembly because I first wanted to see if everything else worked so we got to find a solution for that so what i want to try is have a little rod between this axis and the axis down here and we need a, a sort of bearing right here and then the gear can almost not slip anymore because the rod is pulling these two axes together and luckily i do have some bearings some other projects so i think one of these the hole in the middle is eight millimeters this axis is 10 millimeters so i think we've got to do some work with the uh, angler grinder. Going pretty well. Oh, <laughs> a lot hotter than it just was. To fix the steering wheel in place, we're just gonna use some hot glue so this doesn't just slip off that easily. For the saddle, I think the easiest solution would be put a block around here and around here and to glue those little blocks straight onto the 3D printed parts. And yes, this makes it very hard to repair this bike in the future, but I don't think we're really in the realm of repairability. This is more like a prototype or a one-off. I think to keep my sanity, I'm gonna stop using bolts for everything and use a little bit of glue to just get it over the finish line here. I still do need to come up with a mechanism to connect the throttle to the throttle of the power tube. And we have more issues on our hands, I see, because this one-way bearing is not too happy on the inside. You can see material already getting smushed. That might also be because of the slipping. I will just see when this part fails and then we will replace it and for now we'll just keep using it. So the problem here is that these gears want to do this type of thing and then you can see they will slip. So much play right here. No wonder the gears are slipping. So I think we need some pre-tensioning for our purposes. I made this bracket and made sure to print it in an orientation that it was the strongest in. All of the new parts are ready. The printed parts and then there's this bolt that I treated with an angular grinder. So there's a little grippy front for our power tool so it can actually hold it better. And then I made it smaller so there is space to put this bearing. Which is nice because this goes into the part we've just 3D printed. Just putting the bearing in here. Like one of these spacers that goes on there. Then we put this little plate then another one of these and now our power tool if we can All right, there we go there we go okay well no freewheeling anymore i think we also will not be having any gear slipping anymore these things are meshed together since the last part made everything crooked in the drive gears i've made it slightly bigger so here is our new part let's hope this one does a better job old bracket and we can use the new bracket push the bearing in here and it's our assembly yeah that's way better and still, I don't think there's any chance of these gears slipping. Awesome. Time for the hot glue. I sincerely doubt that this is gonna work. This is gonna be strong enough. Never. Actually, that's not even all too bad. Only it's pulling itself apart right here. Maybe if I apply a little bit more, it, it could work. But first, a quick word from our sponsor, PCBWay. As usual, you can go to PCBWay.com and order your PCBs or have them CNC or 3D print stuff for you. However, right now you can also participate in their design contest. There's a lot of great prizes to win and it's also fun to watch the other submissions. Thanks for sponsoring this video, PCBWay. We did modify the power tool a little bit now, so we can just create this stuff off and now I've got to do the other side as well it's like spider web I mean 
I did up because uh, steering this way is perfect, but uh, this direction, I'm just pulling on the brake cable. Maybe if we add more glue, the old glue will loosen a little bit. I think this should do the trick. There's more bad news. This is not gonna work. Just peeling off, like this isn't gonna withhold anything. The other side seems fine though. I should have glued it on the plastic and not on the rubber. All right, retrying the gluing, but this time on the green surface. Also, why is my glue gun becoming so hot that there's smoke coming out of it? That can be good, right? So I did end up hurting myself <laughs> testing the mini bike. I wanna do a test with the throttle. Oh, that works. That's really, really cool, man. Wow. I think tomorrow it's time for a test drive. Guess this will, this will totally work. All right, let's put on the saddle and then tomorrow it's time for the second and I hope final test drive where we have a working mini bike. I gotta say, we're probably just gonna ride for one minute on this mini bike and then something will break down. However, I'm so proud that I'm able to draw this in CAD and get some parts, combine them and have something that resembles a working mini bike. Because I was really doubting myself if I would be able to make anything like this. So I'm excited. It is time. It's finally time to test with the final version of this mini bike. So let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, let's see. <laughs> we need a little bit of power. Hey! Oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> it's working. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> Het best wel hard. Ja. Ga je nu vol speed? Ja. Oh. Hij <laughs> gaat ook heel lang. <laughs> oh. Doe een wheelie. Oh. 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 <laughs> Echt hilarisch. <laughs> oh. oh. Yep. It's working. Oh. Kijk uit haar auto. Oh sh. <laughs> ik heb hem uh, aangepast en uh, nou werkt hij. Ik heb hier een beugeltje gemaakt ja. en die trekt ze bij elkaar. Knap hoor. En het gaspedaal zit erop. Nou, kom maar weer. Nou, dat vind ik ook knap. Dankjewel. Ja, we zijn ook al helemaal hierheen gereden. Dat is even zien. <laughs> ik denk dat deze nou eindelijk is doorgedraaid van binnen. Ik ga één poging doen. Ja, je hebt het schaap. Ja, kijk. Ik doe een rondje hoor, jouw kant op. Oh. Ah. oh, nou. Dat was hem. Nog een paar laatste woorden. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> ja. Op naar de schoot. Nou, het was uh, leuk. Uh, zo ja. lang duurde. I felt all the feels. <laughs> Holy cow, that was quite a journey. Thanks for coming along with me on this one. If you want to support me in making these awesome things, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel memberships or to my Patreon. This is also where you get access to the channel Discord and to all the project files. Choose your favorite animal now and become a supporter. See you there or in the next video.